Head high, I walked into a room of 250 boys for the first session of my week-long wrestling camp. As I passed, boys lacing their shoes on the perimeter of the room hushed. Bodies lying in starbursts on the mat spun and stared. Several of the instructors cast sidelong, irritated glances. None of these reactions were new to me. After five years of wrestling in a male-dominated sport, I have witnessed nearly every kind of reaction. But one thing is the same for every tournament or camp I attend. I'm always the outsider. This is uh, what I sent to the various colleges that I applied to. As wrestlers began running, rolling, and diving around the mat, I shook off the stairs and joined the group. Hitting my single leg attack felt like coming home. At the end of practice, I noticed that the boys had moved away from me, creating a five-foot radius of empty space around me. But I didn't care about the reproachful silence or the scowling glances. Instead, I focused on how my bruised leg ached from countless burpees, shot repetitions, and buddy carries. In wrestling, the only way to get better is to work hard. So I smiled when I felt the sweat on my back, the breathlessness in my lungs, and the soreness in my muscles. As I walked out on the mat for my last match of the tournament, I remembered a saying my brother, who got me into wrestling, passed on to me. The wrestler with the best technique wins the first period. The wrestler with the best conditioning wins the second period. But the wrestler with the most heart wins the third. Crouching in my stance, I envisioned two possible outcomes. I could let my fatigue and pain overcome me and let the time expire, or I could dig deep and wrestle with heart. I watched the ref puff his cheeks to blow the whistle and summoned all my energy. At the end of the match, I stumbled off the mat and plopped down to the side. Forgetting all else, I concentrated on the droplets of sweat threading down my spandex singlet. Slowly, my shoulders unclenched, back curled, and throat released a sigh. It was not my hand getting raised in victory at the end of the match that was important. Whether or not I won, I knew I belonged in this gym.